Whales are known for being the titans of Earth, with the largest species outsizing everything else, be it land, sky, or water. Some of these giants have even been known to grow as long as three school buses, weighing more than 30 adult elephants. However, whales were not always the largest players in the waters, and over 200 million years ago, during the Triassic period, they weren't even present. But this doesn't mean there were no giants in the waters back then, as in 1920 a discovery was made that confirmed that whale-sized beasts were thriving during the late Triassic. And it wasn't a mammal, rather a marine reptile, the Shonisaurus. The discovery of Shonisaurus occurred in Nevada, when giant fossils were located in the Shoshone Mountains. Yet, it would take over 30 years for paleontologists to start digging them out, all of which concluded in 1976, when Shonisaurus popularis was finally named and described. It was recognized as being a giant streamlined animal that belonged to the order of marine reptiles known as ichthyosaurs. This order is well known for resembling dolphins, but thanks to the sheer size of Shonisaurus popularis, it has usually been compared to whales. At the time of its discovery, Shonisaurus is recognized as being one of, if not the largest ichthyosaur ever found, measuring around 15 meters or 49 feet in length and weighing about 25 tons. At this size, it was bigger than multiple whale species, including male humpback whales, at least from a length perspective. And despite the impressive size of Shonisaurus popularis, it was nothing compared to a second species of Shonisaurus that would eventually be unearthed in 2004, Shonisaurus sikiniensis. This find came from British Columbia and shocked the world, as not only did it outclass Shonisaurus popularis, but it was also bigger than any other marine reptile ever discovered measuring a whopping 21 meters, or 69 feet, and potentially weighing 81 tons, making it larger than any mosasaur or shark to ever exist. No one doubted the monstrous size of this behemoth, but not everyone was certain that it was a Shonisaurus. Since its discovery, there has been constant debate on whether it's truly a Shonisaurus or a Shastasaurus, a close relative. The debate stems from the similarities that Sikiniensis shares with Shastasaurus, notably a more compressed jaw and over the years have been multiple studies which concluded that this giant marine reptile was in reality a Shastasaurus. However, in 2021, a new landmark study reconfirmed that it was in fact a Shonisaurus all along, and since then this has been the consensus. Its classification wasn't the only area where Shonisaurus experienced pushback, since even at the size it was, its claim to being the largest ichthyosaur ever wasn't set in stone. As a giant ichthyosaur tooth was discovered in the Swiss Alps, that was larger than any other found ichthyosaur tooth ever. However, paleontologists are not certain if this giant tooth belonged to a medium-sized ichthyosaur with massive teeth, or a giant ichthyosaur with relatively medium-sized teeth. Meaning that for now, paleontologists agree that the Shonisaurus sikiniensis is the largest confirmed and named ichthyosaur species ever. At the length and weight the Shonisaurus was, it's clear that adults face no direct threats, as they were the largest animals around by a considerable margin. Although their massive sizes did come with some trade-offs, as many paleontologists believe that the Shonisaurus was a relatively slow swimmer, a trait which wasn't helped by its lack of a dorsal fin and was further coupled by its primitive half-tail fin that was vertical and pointed downward. It is thought that it would have swam side to side like a sea snake and definitely did not rely on its speed to catch prey, perhaps employing ambushes instead. The Shonisaurus also possessed a deep and wide body, albeit not as deep as originally thought, which despite further limiting its speed, did allow it to dive to deeper depths. Its preference for deeper waters has also been confirmed by fossil finds, as numerous specimens have been located in areas that align with what would have been relatively deep waters during the late Triassic period. It is believed the Shonisaurus is well adapted for deeper waters so that it could have more access to its primary prey, which based upon fossilized feces, is believed to have largely consisted of fish and squid-like cephalopods known as belemnites. What's interesting is that both these prey items were small in stature, indicating to paleontologists that the Shonosaurus was like a whale in that it ate a massive amount of small prey to maintain its size. Paleontologists also noted that while juveniles possessed teeth, the adults seemed to be toothless, suggesting to them that as the Shonosaurus aged, its diet and eating style changed. This also led to multiple theories on how adults hunted, with some stating that it was a suction feeder, 
This belief of suction feeding became the consensus for many years, however in recent times there has been some challenges to this idea, with certain paleontologists claiming that the Shonasaurus was actually a giant bloodthirsty leviathan that could and would hunt anything it saw. This conjecture stemmed from the identification of what seemed to be deep sockets, which indicated that Shonasaurus may have actually had rather large rooted teeth. And since this discovery, more evidence that the Shonasaurus was toothy at all stages in life has been located, leading to many viewing the Shonasaurus as less gentle as originally thought. The Shonasaurus being a toothy ravenous carnivore also fits the trend seen in Triassic ichthyosaurs, as the majority of ichthyosaurs that lived during the time appear to have been equipped with sharp teeth and would hunt prey by tearing into them rather than using suction feeding. If this was truly the case for Shonasaurus, then along with its confirmed prey, it would have likely hunted larger food items, perhaps even other ichthyosaurs. Either way, it's clear that no matter what the diet actually was, both Shonasaurus species are the top dogs of their environment, which consisted of the waters off the coast of western Pangaea, specifically what makes up North America today. These waters belong to the giant Panthalassic Ocean, which thanks to late Triassic temperatures would have been much warmer than today's seas and oceans. It's thought that during its time, the Shonasaurus would have experienced megastorms and would have roamed waterways that were surrounded by a fair amount of islands. Additionally, the Panthalassic Ocean was rich in life, giving the Shonasaurus a very diverse habitat filled with all walks of life. Some of the other animals the Shonasaurus coexisted with, in addition to its prey, included a variety of fish, cephalopods, sharks, cnidarians, brachiopods, and decapods. It swam alongside these animals over 237 million years ago, and is believed to have persisted for some 10 million years. Unfortunately, however, not even the largest named marine reptile of all time can rule forever, as it vanished before the Jurassic period was ushered in. This being said, it's uncertain whether it evolved to a point where it was no longer the Shonasaurus, or some event was the cause behind its disappearance. Regardless of the cause of its disappearance, this truly was a remarkable animal.